Fractured loyalties and relationships were the new normal for Clay County residents during the Civil War. While no one voted for Republican presidential candidate Abraham Lincoln in the 1860 election, the majority of residents were also against Missouri seceding from the Union. Lawyers David Rice Atchison and Alexander Donovan are examples of the contrasting positions taken. Atchison and Donovan were both born, raised, and educated in Kentucky. As young men, they came to Liberty, practicing law and socializing together, and both owned some slaves. Atchison pushed for the expansion of slavery into new territory in the West. As U.S. Senator, he supported the right of new states to decide the slavery issue by a popular vote. Later, he organized men to go vote for the expansion of slavery when Kansas became a state. Donovan, on the other hand, believed that the abolition of slavery was inevitable, but that owners should be compensated for loss of their property. He proposed a plan to emancipate slaves over time. When the conflict flared into war in 1861, Atchison sided with those supporting secession. He lobbied for financial support from the Confederacy for the state to secede, and he fought in several battles with Confederate troops. Donathan gave many speeches advocating for compromise to keep the Union together and was the Clay County representative to several conferences to pursue such a solution. While Southern sympathizers expected Donovan, a hero of the Mexican War, to lead rebel troops, he refused, saying he could not raise his hand against the American flag he fought for. Federal troops who later occupied Liberty were suspicious of Donovan, since his brother-in-law, John Thornton, was a lieutenant in the Confederate Army. Donovan's investments in land and railroad development crashed, and he moved to St. Louis. As the Confederate battle losses increased, Atchison fled to North Texas and stayed there until the surrender. Neither of them returned to Clay County when peace was restored. They were among the residents who lost their hard-earned fortunes to the war.